Y'all, we are living in a time right now where the gospel of Jesus Christ is being watered down, is being quenched, it's being presented as something that is lukewarm. We're living in a time where so many people have itchy ears. We're living in a time where people are not trying to hear or even receive the unadulterated word of God. We're living in a time where everybody want to hear about grace. Everybody want to hear about the love of God. Everybody want to hear about the good things that God can do for them. But no one wants to hear the full counsel of God. The Bible says, consider the goodness and the severity of God. It's not just about the grace and the mercy and the love of God. We have to understand that God is a consuming fire. We have to understand that God is holy. We have to understand that God is just and he's righteous. And we have to understand that this word is literally a sword and it cuts and it divides soul from spirit, bone from marrow. And in this hour, the Lord was showing me how like, while the gospel is being watered down amongst many believers, amongst many pastors, amongst many churches, he said there is a remnant that is arising. And he said, they shall be like an unquenchable fire. These will be the ones who will preach the unadulterated word of God with power. They shall preach the unadulterated word of God with authority. They will not relent. They will not hold back. They shall not have fear of man, but they shall set their face like flint and they will not be moved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the hour that we are in. There is a remnant. There is a people that God is using and he's getting ready to rise up. Many more people who are willing to be used as a vessel of honor for his glory. He's raising up a people that are willing to go forth and do what it is that God has called them to do. They are not worried about what people think about them. They're not worried about what people would say. They're not worried about the backlash. They're not worried about the persecution that's going to follow, but they are concerned with only doing the will of God because it is the gospel that has the power to save. Hallelujah. It is the gospel, not watering down that gospel, but telling people the truth that is able to save their souls. He led me to Romans chapter 10, verses 13 through 18, and it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. Hallelujah. And y'all, that is the hour that we are in right now. God is sending. God is sending many people out of the caves. Many people are coming out of the wilderness. Many people are coming out of that, that quiet place, that secret place, that hidden place. And many people are going, they're being thrust forward. They're being propelled forward into the things of God because now is the hour where we need to be preaching the gospel, not just the tidings of good things and the gospel of peace, right? But the full counsel of God, that full counsel of God is going to tell you about hell. That full counsel of God is going to tell you about sin. It's going to warn you against sin. That full counsel of God is going to warn you 
to turn from the way that you are going. It's going to tell you the truth that is actually going to bring liberation and freedom and hope. Verse 18 says, but I say, have they not heard? Yes. Yes. Verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. So we see that the, the apostles, they first began to preach the gospel into all the world. That gospel is still going forth today and God is raising up many people. A sound is going forth right now. The sound of the remnant, a sound of war. A sound of an army is arising from up out of the wilderness. God is breathing life into dry bones and he's raising up people like never before. And they are beginning to step into the things that God has for them. Fear will not hold you back anymore. Limitations and hindrances of the enemy will not hold you back anymore. You're going to go forth in the power of God. You're going to go forth and succeed and to fulfill the call of God on your life. I declare that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He also led me to Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. He says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. This is what John said, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. With the Holy Ghost and with fire. So again, he told me, and they shall be like an unquenchable fire in this hour. God is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. He said, your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. This is the hour that we are in. His spirit is being poured out upon many people in this hour. And they are going forth like an unquenchable fire. You will not be able to put this fire out. Man will not be able to douse this fire out. The intimidations of man, the intimidations of this culture, the intimidations of this society, of the government, it will not be able to put this fire out. I'm telling y'all, there is a sound that have gone out and God is arising up an army who will carry forth the torch of his gospel in dark places in this hour. And they will not relent. And they will not draw back in unbelief. They will go forth and do and say whatever it is that God is saying. They will not be worrying about offending people or what they will say. But God is going to use them mightily. And nothing will be able to put that fire out of them. Nothing will be able to put that fire out of them. So in this hour, y'all, it's not time to water down the gospel, even though many people are watering down that gospel, this is the hour where you need to stand on the word of God. If everybody around you is falling like dominoes, you need to be able to stand, having done all to stand in the evil day. He said, a thousand shall fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Many people are Falling away from the gospel, compromising. But you shall stand on the word of God and you will not be moved. So I hope that blessed y'all. I love y'all. God bless.